Welcome to our tutorial about operators. Here's a list of operators and the first four you will probably know as basic math operators. The plus symbol adds two values. The hyphen subtracts the second value from the first value. The asterisk multiplies two values and a forward slash divides the first value by a second value. So let's take a minute to review the other four operators which you may not be familiar with. The backslash refers to integer or whole number division. MOD, mod, is an operator for remainder division. The hat, or carré, or accent circonflexe, however you want to call it, will raise a value to a power. The amper symbol concatenates two strings, or puts them together. All right, let's see how these operators work in a script. I've got three variables here, a, b, and result. Each is declared as a double. The first two variables store the value 10.5 and 2, respectively. Next, Visual Basic adds these values and passes them to the variable result. In my last step, the value is displayed in a message box. Let's run the program and see how it works. Click OK. So the result is 12.5. Let's click OK and open up the rule again. Now let's copy this line and paste it beneath. Let's comment out my first line with a single quotation mark or apostrophe. Replace the plus with the minus. Let's click OK to run the rule. So now we have 10.5 minus 2 is 8.5. Let's paste in the line of code. Comment out the line above with an apostrophe. Let's change the operator. This time we'll use an asterisk. OK. And here's the result of 10.5 times 2. Let's paste the line again. Comment out the line above. Change the operator to a forward slash. This is the operator for division. And here is the result. OK. Open up again with a double click. Paste the line of code. Comment out the line above. Let's change the operator to a forward slash again and just make some adjustments to our formula. Let's add to our formula. This time we will subtract 3. OK to run. And here is our result. Click OK. Open up the rule again with a double click. As you can see, Visual Basic follows standard mathematical procedures calculating division and multiplication first, and then addition and subtraction. Let's group this portion of the formula within parentheses. Click OK, and now we've got a different result. Let's click OK, open up the rule. Once again, Visual Basic has followed standard mathematical procedure by calculating the formula within parentheses and then doing the division. Let's paste another line of code, comment out the line above, Let's replace this operator with the backslash, and this is for integer division. Let's click OK to run the rule. This operation doesn't allow for a remainder, so our result has been rounded to the nearest integer. OK, let's try out our next operator, mod. We'll paste the line of code again. Comment out the line above, and let's replace the plus sign with MOD. Click OK to run the rule. So what's displayed here is the remainder, 0 0.5. Let's click OK and double-click operators again to make some more edits. Let's paste the code, comment out the line above. Now we'll test the hat operator, the exponent operator. Click OK to run the rule, and here's our result. Now let's try out a formula using the concatenate operator. Comment out the line above. Replace the plus sign with the amper symbol. Space, quotation mark, space, quotation mark, amper symbol. Watch what happens here when I click OK. I get an error in the rule. Conversion from string to double not valid. Let's go back and see where the problem is. Basically, we've effectively got a string here, but our variable is declared as a double. 
Let's right click and copy, right click and paste, and let's declare it as a string instead. I need to comment out the line above, but let me leave it as is and run the rule again. Yes, indeed, we have an error. Local variable result is already declared in the current block. Let's click OK to get out of that error message, and we'll comment out line number four. Run the rule again, and here's our result. OK. Let's make some more changes. I'm going to copy these two lines, Control C, or right click and copy. And let's paste them with a Control V. Let's declare both of these variables as strings, and this time I'll comment out the variables above. Let's initialize both variables here, open, quotation marks, name, close quotation marks, down below, open quotation, L name for last name, and close quotation mark. OK, let's run the rule again. So here's the result. You can see why I put a blank space in the syntax. Let's try one more thing. We can also insert operators by selecting them from this drop-down menu. Down below, you see many more operators. There's AND, OR, AND ALSO, OR ELSE, NOT, IS, IS NOT, and so on. These are known as logical operators. We're going to look at these in later tutorials. And this concludes our first tutorial about operators. In our next tutorial, we'll take a look at some built-in functions.